This is a post-chat report for November 28th, 2015. As usual, and right on schedule, we had a wargaming chat um, open to all uh, from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at https colon forward slash forward slash appear dot in forward slash big board one word. Um, we talked about uh, way too much <laughs> that I uh, way, way more than I could uh, jot down notes about. Um, so this is just uh, some small pieces from this uh, two hour discussion. It was a brisk two hour uh, discussion. Talked about books and gaming. Um, I know for, for my, uh, from my experience, uh, reading something like uh, Doublers, Closing with the Enemy, and then playing you know, all sorts of small unit combat action games. Um, the experience I have is that reading Doubler, uh, Closing with the Enemy, makes me think of the game playing. And then when I'm playing the games, I'm thinking of what I read from a book like Closing with the Enemy. And that is both, uh, uh, both a recommendation uh, for uh, kind of allowing book reading, military history reading, and Wargaming to kind of intersect, but it's also a recommendation for that book, uh, Closing with the Enemy by uh, Michael Doubler. Um, I also think of uh, F. Lorraine Pater's um, fairly well-known uh, campaign, a Napoleonic campaign uh, books. Um, also, again, an author, F. Lorraine Pater, um, an author whose books, when I'm reading them, I'm thinking about Wargaming makes me think about wargaming, and and when I'm playing a Napoleonic campaign game, you know I always have to remember, you know, different um, snippets snippets from the campaign histories uh, of Pater. Okay, I uh, talked about uh, challenging small uh, unit uh, combat action paradigms. Um, we have, on the one hand, we talked about uh, a plethora of new and you know continuing uh, small unit combat action games uh, marketed as tactical games i think uh, combat commander europe uh, i know from my own experience i think does a good job of kind of challenging uh, some paradigms um, but with the apparent both ongoing and um, robust interest um, it would be nice to see some more paradigm challenging. Um, talked about uh, conventions, uh, Winter Offensive, PrezCon, Bitter Ender in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, WinterCon, and Consum World Expo. Um, talked about, well, we lamented there are just too many games to play these days, uh, too many interesting titles, uh, too many um, well-developed series to to play to really get into and i know uh, we talked about this and i know in my mind this idea of too many games is kind of relevant because um we we talked about how um we don't seem to have as much intensive gameplay analysis um like uh maybe we had in earlier times and maybe Part of the reason is there's there are simply so many games, um, but it would be nice to see something like and, and this is something I guess I should be thinking about uh, addressing I guess but um, see some some in depth analysis. I mean I know we have from Board Game Geek I know we have some players who who really focus on a particular series whether it's OCS or ASL or what have you. Um, and then if we could get these, get the analysis that these dedicated players can produce and get that out, I guess, out that, out you know, more generally, I think we would all benefit in one way or another. All right, talked about games to redo. Um, so I know uh, a game like, for me, Test of Arms. Uh, play Test of Arms. A game that I just constantly think when I pull it out, when I'm playing it, wow, this is a game that just, how great would it be to have this game redone? Um, then there are games that I think I would like to see redone. I'm not, I haven't 
come to any hard conclusions. That would be Iron Cross. I've talked about that before. It seems to me that a game like Iron Cross is just begging to be redone. Um, and there's some others. So, so games to redo. Um, a great, a great discussion. <laughs> um, talked about newer mag games, uh, newer magazine uh, games, um, and uh, talked about how DG is uh, still pushing along with three different um, magazine games. Um, and apparently, uh, we, it came up in the discussion that there are some interesting uh, recent titles. Um, and we talked about a lot more. Panzer Blitz came up. Um, was it Alpha Centauri? Something, something, Space War Game came up. Just lots of stuff comes up. Um, lots of stuff to think about. Lots of stuff to go away and look up in more, in more detail. Uh, just a great, uh, relaxing conversation um, about all things wargaming. Old experiences, new experiences, uh, games we'd like to see. Um, always, you know, some mini reviews thrown in there, uh, not by design, but um, in effect, many designs or many uh, reviews thrown in there in the discussion um, really makes the discussion fun and memorable. So every Saturday, uh, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at https colon forward slash forward slash appear dot in forward slash big board one word.